Hi guys, so you watched a video about my product empties, which is a video where I talk about the products I've used up and I'm going to talk also about if I like them or if I didn't like them. So I collected a lot of things, so just be aware and keep watching. So this is basically the bag that I've been using for my used up products and it's pretty big and it's actually like full bag, you see it? It's full. So it will be in random order. I don't know what I think of. Okay. The first one is this Cien Body Care Body Milk Rich Moisturizing Care 24 Hour Moisturizing Care. This, it was okay. I wouldn't really repurchase it. Then I have the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Kind to Skin Cleansing Facial Wipes, which were also okay. People used to recommend them so much to me, and then I got them, and then. It's basically nothing special for my skin. Maybe it's because my skin is too dry or something. Then I have the Avon Naturals Conditioning Balm. This is like an almond oil and avocado mask apparently. This is not moisturizing. At least not in my hair. I mean, I guess my face and my hair is too dry for everything. Then this is a Jaya um, food cream. This is actually pretty moisturizing. I like the scent. It's kind of citrusy and this is a Polish brand so we get it in Poland. So another thing from Jaya is this um, UV A and UVB um, Sun Factor Cream. This is for like summer and winter but it only has SPF 6. I like the way this moisturizes my face but definitely this is not a sunblock. Seriously, SPF 6? No. Then I have the Avril Lavigne Black Star Lotion for the body and this came with the perfume that I got and I've also used up and I love the perfume. I've also liked this but you know it's okay. I'm not really a big fan of lotions but I love Avril Lavigne and the scent is amazing. Then I have the Garnier Skin Naturals Moisture Match Dry, dry to Very Dry Skin Cream. This was good at first and then something happened and my skin didn't really absorb it as well. But it's good for the first about 3 weeks and then it just, you know, it just gets like normal, you know, it's not really moisturizing anymore. Then another thing from Jaya, this is a goat's milk hand cream. Um, I don't know what I do here, but this was actually pretty good and pretty moisturizing. Then I have the Soap and Glory Flake Away. I love this scrub. This is amazing. It smells amazing. It's very moisturizing. It is pretty cheap and I've already purchased this. Another Jaya product. This is a cucumber toner. This is meant to be for normal, oily and, you know, mm, combination skin. Well, it worked well for my skin and I really like the scent, although it can be a little bit drying. Then I have the VO5 Frizz Relief Elixir Miracle Mist. This is a heat protectant and detangler. I'm not a big fan of this and this thing fell off. Mm, I don't really like the VO5 products. I don't know. More hair stuff and this is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Reconstructor Deep Conditioner for Damaged Hair. First of all, this smells amazing. It makes my hair feel so soft and just so healthy. Although it is packed with silicones and everything, this is an amazing conditioner. Then I have the Avon Naturals Conditioner. This is for dry and damaged hair. This was also not good, so I just use it for shaving my legs because it makes the legs, you know, smooth. More hair stuff. I didn't really use it at all, but it's almost there. This is a L'Oreal Paris L5 Damage Care Conditioning Repair Spray. And I have used this um, at night. Well, it's okay, but it's not a miracle. I don't know, I guess my hair is too dry again. But, you know, it, it was meant to work for dry hair, so... I don't know. Then there's the Aussie Thermidor Miracle Color Deep Treatment and Deep Conditioner. Well, this one smells worse than the other one, but it also smells nice. Um, I definitely like the other one better. This is just... I don't think it gives the hair that much moisture. But it's, it's okay, you know, it's not the best. 
Then some face stuff. This is the Leo Ali Beyond the Solution BB Cream, which I absolutely loved. Um, and I will be repurchasing. Then I have the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And this is also amazing. And I had two of these. And I went through them quite quickly. I can't really remember how good it is, but it definitely isn't something I regret buying. It's an amazing foundation and it did match my skin pretty well and I am pretty fair. So that's amazing. Then I have two things from Lush. This is Aquamarina Fresh Facial Cleanser and then the Bouche Noir Noel Facial Cleanser. This is from the um, Christmas line and this is from the normal line. I guess I like both of them, but I think I like the Aquamarine a bit better because it's just um, less abrasive and better for my dry, sensitive skin. And Bouge Noel is more abrasive. It's kind of like... It is moisturizing, but then it has more of a scrub to it. So it did break me out sometimes if I use it like too much or something. But I love Lush, so I love these products. Then here I have the Batiste Dry Shampoo Floral and Flirty Blush. Um, this is an amazing dry shampoo and um, I have, I had so many of these um, different, you know, scents. This is definitely my favorite one. Then for some makeup, I had the Amy Way Waterproof Eyeliner. This is a liquid eyeliner. This is one pound eyeliner and I gotta say it's pretty good. You know, I'm wearing this on my eyes now, but because I have repurchased it. And um, then this one, Natural Collection Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeliner, is not that good. It's not that intensive and it does tend to flake more than the Anyway one. And I think it is even more expensive. It's about two pounds, I think. Then I have my beloved Hypnotic Poison Dior uh, perfume. This is amazing. It smells amazing. Oh, brings so much good memories. I love this perfume, seriously. I need to repurchase this sometime, but I'm too poor for that, you know, I'm a student. Then I have the little version of the Batiste Dress Shampoo. This is the Coconut and Exotic Tropical scent, and it's pretty amazing too, but I like the floral one better. Then I have my L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Excess Mascara. This is amazing and separating and giving volume. It definitely is a Volume Million Lash Mascara, and it's just an amazing mascara. Then I have the Nivea cream. This is just the original cream. And um, I really love this uh, for use on my dry patches. And it works so well. Then this is a Nikki Clark Endless Waves Curl Defining Intensive Treat Conditioner. This is all right, but I would not repurchase it anymore because it's just not that great. But it was kind of moisturizing. So that is it for all the products I've used up in about a year or a year and a half. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Do see!